Cause we is back once again with another reaction video, bruh. And today, I'm coming back with another reaction for y'all here, man. And hey, hey, I got another little video for y'all, bro. We got Flight Reacts coming back once again. This is the part two of this drama with Jason Sid, the dad, and the ex-girlfriend that been cheating, and she been calling him lies and this and that, and he's trying to defend himself. They say he is abuser when he's not. He's just trying to say his name. He just trying to say, hey, they just trying to protect their image for lies, and they full of lies and this and that, and this and that, and give me back, and then and that. We gonna react to this. We gonna figure it out. We gotta see what's going on in this reaction, bro. This is part two of the reacting to No More Lies. Jason said the cold truth with Flight Reacts. And Flight Reacts got some facts, all right? Which is very, very surprising. This is part two. If you didn't see part one, go back, check it out. Thank y'all for being here. Thanks for all my returning subscribers. Thanks for all my new subscribers. Let's get to 100 subscribers. We on the road, 100 subscribers. Let's get it. Con contribute, contribute. Go down, like, and subscribe to the channel down below for more reactions. Let's get it. And if you guys don't subscribe to the channel, man, that's all right. At least hit the like button, bruh. And excuse my broken headphones. So, as you guys know, okay, that's the dad. If you guys didn't know, if you guys don't know what's going on, go back to uh, the other video. So, like I react to part Nicki one. Minaj. You know what I'm saying? You know, these people, you guys can identify what? with. And you guys know what that Rihanna situation. Rihanna. It Rich. wasn't Chris Brown's fault all the way. Resources. Like, what? let's be real. Look at what he said, y'all. What's Listen, going on? We got some you know, end of the year drama. It's been a good year so far. What? Famous, Rich, it's been a great year. They have resources. This man said these people, you guys can identify because they're famous, rich. <laughs> <laughs> what? what does your fame status or class have to do with abuse what does that have to do with anything money yeah, that don't so have nothing now, to do with nothing you're using rich people famous people instead of using regular people that get abused every single day now you're using rich and famous people so when we bring up diamonds, oh yeah now he's gonna explain right how he's gonna explain like, all the lies on his dad on the, uh, like on the dad's point of view, he's gonna like expose him right now. That's what's going on. It I'm goes hand in hand. hand. Now, what do we know about trying Diamond? Trying to dissect everything. Diamond is rich and Diamond is famous. Why didn't you just use a comparison of a regular person to compare to Diamond? No, you use people that we all know about, uh -huh. people that we know as facts already, right? So when you start talking about Diamond, it's like, oh, this must be true. So now you're trying to manipulate people because I know regular people get abused more than famous people because there's more regular people in this world than famous people, right? So now he's making it seem like he knows what he's talking about and he's using people that kind of fit the same description as his daughters. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep it going. <laughs> but, you know, there's something that's that we call in psychology or psychiatry when psychology called learned helplessness uh some of you may have heard that but what that is is pretty much it's where you're put in a position that you feel so weak mm. that you you're not able to defend yourself and sometimes it so this was the video that his position, dad her, her dad made you, as you're getting drawn into this you don't I didn't end up reacting to the full the thing. You guys know we seem like a, a piece of you're it. Too weak to help yourself. When I am New he York, the last time. He also says the word learned helplessness. And he also says that that word means you're put in a position where you feel so weak that you're not able to defend yourself. And sometimes it takes time for you to get that to that position as you get drawn into this and don't notice it. But by the time you notice it, you're too weak to help yourself. So my question is. If Diamond was too weak to so, help uh, herself, he's been but you know daughter that saying she'd be feeling so hopelessness. I was abusing so, her. So uh, we. Right. Then why didn't you help her? Exactly. Why yeah, did I did state that. Around? Why did you guys let me travel with you guys? How come you kept allowing her to come to my house? Remember, mm -hmm. Diamond was helpless. 
not you. <laughs> Let's continue the video though. I'm like I did the edit. And other people may see it. But see, this is just drama between. This is just drama between the boyfriend, the ex, and the dad. Like this is just all of this is one long drama span. You know what I'm saying? Like on this all like that's what's been, it's been going on from this long period of time. You know what I'm saying? Like this is one cluster. They don't cluster. Want to come out to you to say anything because they don't want you to lash out on them about you know thinking like maybe you're jealous of their relationship or whatever. You guys get the point. No, we huh? don't get the point. Why See the dad is just upset. This? Like the dad is blinded from the from facts right now because he's just so upset that his daughter got put in this position. So he's gonna do whatever it takes, no matter if it's not facts, facts, not facts. He's gonna do whatever it takes to defend his daughter. So it's like he bl basically blind from the facts. That's why he's trying to. That's what he's trying to explain right now. You know what I'm saying? I see Lashing what that's, that's what he's trying to say. You, why would I think you're jealous of my relationship if I'm dating your daughter? All right, that makes no sense. Right. If you come up to me and tell me I'm abusing your daughter, why would I think you're jealous of my relationship? <laughs> Let's keep it going, though. But some of the other people that have been in abusive relationships that are very famous is like Michael Jackson, very well documented that he used to be abused by his dad. Here it is again. He's brainwashing <laughs> y'all again. He's bringing up another famous and rich Celebrity again that has nothing to do with this situation. Yeah, so basically what I'm saying I see what Sid is saying. He does have a point. Because that's like that's like me missing an air ball in a game winning shot. Which you have and then you keep comparing me to like somebody famous missing an air balling, you know, a wide open shot when there's regular people that play basketball every single day and air ball shots. I don't know if that was a good example, but that's pretty much what he's saying because he's basically wrapping it all up short. It seems like Diamond's dad was trying to be manipulative and name celebrities that had harsh abuse experiences so you can kind of compare it to the Diamond Flawless situation even though it wasn't even nowhere near or it probably didn't even happen. You know what I'm saying? So I see where he's saying right there. It kind of is some facts underneath. But let's keep going though. And most recently, mm -hmm. most current has been this thing going on with R. Kelly, where actually charges have been brought up against him, where all these years he's had his compound with so many women, some living in the same houses, whatever they're doing, and he just, whether they were like young, old, when I say old, like, you know, 20s, 30s, or whatever, that these women, sometimes there were people that were educated, that were like professional people that he was able to draw, that were, were drawn to him and he used that to his advantage, where he made these people basically like his little slaves. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> what? He <laughs> 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 There's nothing to do. Yo, look, man. I'm not laughing about the R. Kelly thing. That's not funny whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that had something that happened to them, and that I, you know, pray for you and hopefully. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> But, bro, now I see exactly what he's saying. After he said the R. Kelly thing, that's exactly crossing the line. There is nothing you can compare to this. It just doesn't have any levels. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kelly, so he can use R. Kelly as a comparison to me. But I want you to pay attention closely exactly to what he said at the end. That these women, sometimes they were people that were educated, that were like professional people that he was able to draw, that were, were drawn to him, and he used that to his advantage, where he made these people basically like his little slaves. He what? said that these women <laughs> were people that were educated. <laughs> what the fuck is he him. talking about? And y'all know Yo! rich and famous people earlier, right? So now one thing y'all don't notice <laughs> is this guy Bro, is this trying can't to be use real. these famous people as comparisons. So now y'all see how he put Diamond in the oh, same category as man. famous and rich people, but now he puts me in the same category as R. Kelly, right? <laughs> now he's trying to make it seem like I'm using Diamond. Damn, man. So we got surviving King City coming in the future or something? Hey, man. All jokes aside, bro. At this point, you guys know I'm neutral. You know, but there's just no way because it's just he's giving too many things man. that are not even nowhere to say. I'm trying to figure out his side of what he's talking about. about. So, so, I if I had to, I, I can't know. choose the side, but what sounds like a more believable story so far is King Sid's story.
you know what I'm saying, out of everything. Yeah. Now, we're going to continue to obviously continue watching and continue to break down the details. But right now, Diamond Flawless's dad, if I was Diamond Flawless, I wouldn't even have my dad try and make a video, bro. See, like, there's no bro, reason like, an adult no that's over the age of 35 like, should be. It's not making sense. sense. To be one thousand, unless you like to make these comparisons, comparisons which makes no family. sense. That's, a, that's an excuse. But but you're just trying to come out on of, as right, a parent and defend your child. You know what I'm saying? For one situation, just stay off of YouTube because you just you're making you know? her look really, really bad, and just making everything that's about this you know, look really, really much worse on Diamond Flawless's part. Let's continue. I mean, as my slave. <clears throat> When really I did everything for that girl. I drove to Orlando for her. I wow. used to carry a bag of beer. Yeah, facts. I put up all the you guys know driving out. from Miami to Orlando is four hours easy. For that girl. Five hours. And now you're trying to make me seem like I made her a slave. Y'all might not be paying attention. He might not be saying it physically out his mouth. But the way he's comparing me, the way he's using comparisons, you can start see, you can see where he's going with this. He's brainwashing y'all, just like I told y'all. So now I have to break this down to y'all so y'all understand, so y'all don't get manipulated that this man is trying to make it seem like he knows what he's doing, but really, it's not like that. It's not like that. And I'm right. not out here. I didn't come trying here to make bash psychological. Okay, now you're crazy. You're not trying to bash me. But if you weren't trying to body. bash me, then how come you couldn't just say that Diamond is single as well just like how I did. Mm. How come when I say I'm single, all of a sudden, I'm an abuser, but you're not trying to bash me? How come you're trying to use R. Kelly Preach. as a comparison to me? He's trying to call things in R. Kelly. How Yo. come you didn't just bring me to court? <laughs> so obviously you are trying to bash me. You're actually trying to bash me. You're trying to make me look like I'm the bad person. That's so why I'm society, man. Like, it gets deeper than this, man. It really gets deeper than this. This situation is a prime example of what really happens. Like, out in the world, it could be within any like any type of defendant or jury situation where it's like you got two defendants, you know what I'm saying, trying to defend each other, and one side is like has more power, and in the case of like the young or the poor or innocent, like this side may have, may have all the power, and they can use like, like a whole bunch of power or like brainwash to like brainwash like the system and stuff, bro. It's crazy. Image. So now that y'all know this man is trying to really, brainwash really y'all. Really deep. Now that y'all brain is unwashed, <laughs> let's go ahead and get to the part where Diamond has always been cheating on me. Oh man, this is gonna be so so much tea right here. Oh, I'm gonna man. go back to June 5th. <laughs> oh my gosh. This year, 2019. This is an hour this long. There's no way we're gonna get through this uh, this whole video. I'm gonna have to. If I really want to see me do a part three, time or whatever, I'm gonna have to and, see like a um, hundred was, likes you know, off for a part three. The audience kind of liked them together or whatever. The, the most recent time that I can remember back in June. Uh, so I have the uh, text message here from Jason. Okay. He texted me. This was um, at 7:47. PM. I actually was uh, was at work, um, and he sent me this text saying, "Do you know where Diamond is?" And I answered, "No." He says, "I'm calling, but no response. Is she still in Boynton Beach?" Ah, uh, Boynton now, Beach. For those of y'all from Florida, only can, can, can relate and know. Was in Boynton Beach. Well, <laughs> Diamond went to go get her nails done, and I want y'all to remember this. Diamond left my house mad at me, and she went to go get her nails done, and her nails place where she used to go to, used to go to, mm -hmm. is in that area, Boynton Beach. I, he said, I text her, I haven't, gotten a I haven't gotten a response. She's been there since two, and I'm checking her location, and she's at a house. Now, think about this, people, for a minute. He has her location. They're not dating. All right, so I want y'all to remember that. He said this is sometime back in June. As a matter of fact, this was June 5th. Remember this date, June 5th. Right. And I also want to confirm with y'all that this conversation is a real conversation we had on June 5th. As a matter of fact, here's my proof. All right, so now that y'all see uh, the pop up. screenshot what? from my phone. Yeah, you messed that edit up. It didn't even show. So, it's all good. It's a little editing mistake. Got something to hide right. from somebody it's a whole hour long video, so we get a pass. She put that person on her location. So, y'all, I want y'all to listen to that one more time for me, please. One more time. Just listen. 
So if she's got something to hide from somebody, why would she put that person on her location? Well, basically, we know this guy has an Android. But let me tell y'all something for <laughs> those of y'all that don't know how iPhone works. Oh my gosh. You can have someone to All the facts and all of this confrontation and arguments coming down to the brink of phones or what type of phone it is. This is deep. Can I get some more tea, please? More sugar. To the iPhone all the way down to which phone, bro? Like, dang. It's okay, deep. Right? But once that person turns their phone on airplane mode, you can no longer see their location. Mm. Hmm. Think about that for a minute. Y'all thought about it, right? But <laughs> well, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. Then keep he going. went back and sent me a picture of a house. So he basically sent me the house where she was, she was at. Yes, I sent him a picture of the house. Now, how did I get a picture of the house? Google Maps. Oh man. But how did I have the address to search it in Google Maps? Well, let me tell y'all something, guys. Hmm. I'm supposed Guy to fax. location was off, right? Then I go back to looking mm -hmm. and I see her location on. So, boom, I screenshot it. Mm -hmm. Moments later, her location is back off. So, you know what I did? I searched up the house, and now I, I, I look, and I'm like, okay, what is she doing here? What is she doing at a house? Right. So now, her dad opened up to me that I can hit him up whenever I need to, right? Exactly. So, if I don't know what Diamond is doing, and she's my girlfriend, and her dad opened up to me, that I can go ahead and hit him up whenever. Why wouldn't I hit him up to see what Diamond is doing when she's at a strange location, right? I don't, like, y'all catching me, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he says, do you know whose house this is? I said, he said, I find it strange. She's been there that long, especially when I sent her a message and it said delivered and it went back to not delivering. delivering. See, there it is. Just like I said. <clears throat> It, look, I, I can't make this up. I can't. I cannot make this up, y'all. The proof is right there. They're saying it themselves. I can't make this up. It went from not delivering to delivering to not delivering again. Now, who has an iPhone that can comment right now and can agree that that shows signs of being on airplane mode? Who who can agree with yeah, me? Yeah, that's one hundred percent. Cause yes. I can't make this up. I can't make it up, bro. I can't. But let's keep going though, let's keep going though. I find it a little, for me it was a little bit weird that he's texting me these things because I'm not used to that type right, of stuff. Alright, this is crazy, bro. We as a family. Ooh, we got some location. drama. And we use it for safety. We don't use it to, like, spy on them. That stuff doesn't, that, you know, we don't do that kind of stuff. Here. What? As a matter of fact, I want y'all to listen to this closely again. Listen closely to this part right here. We are, as a family, have each other's locations and we use it for safety we don't use it to like for safety that stuff doesn't that, you know we don't do that kind of stuff here so now y'all see how he says they have each other's location but they use it for safety not to spy on each other so now do y'all see how he's trying to make me seem like i'm a spy and matter of fact if that makes me a spy that makes diamond a spy because diamond has my location as well and matter of fact, so, so being a spy is basically being having that safety. You can't, it's the same thing. Like you want to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's it's just a lot of tea right here. Yeah. Location, <laughs> bro, we got a big bucket of tea, bro. And it's hot. You guys are related, right? But now, for those people that know about relationships, if your girlfriend is not answering, your boyfriend is not answering, and you're texting them, right? And you yeah. have their location. Exactly. How many, spying you, or being how many of safety? you would go to check in the location, right? Just because your girlfriend or boyfriend hasn't been answering in a long time. How many of you would go to check in the location? I mean, I'm going to check, yeah. Because mm. I know I would. 
So that's the reason I have it on. Be a spy for checking where my girlfriend is when she's not responding. Does that make me a spy? I'm just checking in. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make me a spy if she agreed to this being share her location safety. with me, right? Yeah. But okay, let's keep going. Facts. Though. That's another so fact, man. I don't know. So y'all see, when I asked him, whose house is this? He said he doesn't know, right? I want y'all to remember this. He said he does not know. Remember that. <laughs> I was about to leave work and I said, you know what? Let me give him a call. So I called him and I we talked for over an hour. It was like a kind of like a father-son type conversation <laughs> where I explained to him how Diamond is, who Diamond, the kind of person that Diamond is, and that he had nothing to worry about. Hold on, let's listen to that one more time. So I called him and I we talked for over an hour. It was like a kind of like a father-son type conversation where I explained to him how Diamond is, who Diamond, the kind of person that Diamond is, and that he had nothing to worry about. So now you're telling me you know who your daughter is, right? And I don't have anything to worry about, right? Everybody remember that. Remember that I don't have anything to worry about, okay? And I said, if she's somewhere, now I knew where she was. Wait, y'all y'all heard that? Let, 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 let me replay it for y'all one more time, hold on. Now I knew where she was. So now all of the sudden, you know where she was at, Oh right? man, man, mm -hmm. parents are good, man, parents are good. I mean, of course, if you're a parent, you're gonna have to defend your child. But he just basically in a dry way said that Diamond was somewhere she wasn't supposed to be. And he knew that because he basically was just like, you have nothing to worry about, I know where she's at, you know what I'm saying, she's safe. Mm -hmm. No dad is gonna comfortably say that and know that their daughter is not safe, you know? So he basically summed it all up and just pretty much said, Diamond's probably getting her cheeks clapped right now and her tracks pulled out, but <laughs> she's in a safe place and you have nothing to worry about. So I see everything exactly what Sid is saying. He's, in a way, I feel like manipulating, especially people that are like younger watching the video. You know what I'm saying? They're going to just really take sides and be on this and that. And certain stronger vocabulary words sometimes can get people to be bought right in, like sold, like. But hold on, guys. Did, the, did this guy ever tell you guys whose house this was? As a matter of fact, I don't think I ever told y'all whose house this was. So he said he knew whose house this was, right? Yeah. But he never said whose house was it. This is her ex's house, no? This oh, is her ex's house. no. So. Basically, that leaves it to you knew your daughter was at her ex's house while she was messing with me, right? It's wrong. Or am I wrong? That's well, that's messed though. up. Because I knew that family quite well. Y'all see that, right? Actually, he. he oh my yeah, gosh! What a dumbass! Why would he say that? No! Oh my gosh! This is getting bad. This is getting bad. It's crazy when you sit there and dissect certain sentences and words. Oh my gosh. He just gosh. confirmed even more. He knew that family <clears throat> quite well. But let's keep going though. I know the father, the mother. I know, I know the family quite well. So how come you lied to me in June when I texted you whose house was this? Why, why'd you lie to me? Why'd you say you don't know? Oh man. So now, basically, you're telling exposed. us Damn. you're a liar, right? Pretty much exposed. <laughs> see, I, 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 I told you from the jump. I was on his side. My man's side right there. But I didn't, I kid see it or King see it. Where we is. That was his place. How the hell would it not be my place to know where my girlfriend is at? If I'm always filming with her, I'm always with her, I'm always sleeping with her, I'm always at your house, she's always at my house, we're always out together. We're always having sex to know where she was at. As a matter of God fact, him, though. I was invited to <laughs> Diamond's graduation by y'all. a matter of fact, I went to the graduation with y'all. Oh, man. Matter of fact, I sat right by y'all. So, Dang. now you're telling me I'm hanging out with y'all, but you don't think it's my place to know where my girlfriend's at? Wow. It's getting Ooh. intense. Because, you know, again, why? Let me tell y'all why it was my place, dog. I love that girl so much, bro. 
literally i have never ever done anything this is crazy bro how long is it cheated on that girl i've never made no other girl feel like they had i pretty much know what's going on man just to sum it up and just wrap it up because this is getting way too long hour and 55 two hours long bro i'm not watching sitting here watching this bro and i'm not about to keep breaking it out the part to part um i think i'm done i'm teed out i don't want no more tea you guys can also let me know down below what do you guys think of this, man? And let me know, like, what, what, what do you think? Like, whose side are you on? You know what I'm saying? This is crazy, man. I'm pretty much done for this drama. Um, I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? About the whole, about this whole situation. And I agree. He is right. He got more facts. He has way more facts, you know what I'm saying, than the dad. And the dad just basically exposed himself, man, with that text and stuff, man, about, about him lying. Like, this is crazy. I mean, I know it's like, more to it. But yeah, man, we want to just uh, wrap it up right here, man. I'm, I'm drawing it out. I'm done with the drama. I already know what's going on. Um, yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, this fight, you know, so he gave his input on it and on, on what's going on. He, 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 you know what I'm saying, he from experience, so he, he has something to say about that. But anyways, man, thank you guys for being here. I'm going to see you all next video. This was part two of the reacting to No More Lies. Jason said the cold truth. Thank you all. I'm going to wrap it up. Let's get it. Let's go. Go down, like, and subscribe to the channel down below for more reactions. Let's get it. And if you guys don't subscribe to the channel, man, that's all right. At least hit the like button, bro. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. Woo.